it has been a huge change, not only with the amount of people that are using the river downstream, but certainly the amount of fish that have made it upstream. Before we would see a lot of the fish being stopped right before the bridge and a little bit sooner. Um, because there are now riffles and pools in the river down there, it's a much more amenable um, environment for them to not only live, but then to spawn. The reason we're seeing them here now is we put in a bioengineered channel downstream of this concrete section. We also took out the concrete from 6th Street to I-94. Having that, that new portion of the 6th Street bridge completed is a great place to point to as a tangible result. This is what the entire corridor will look like and this is what we're really working towards as a long-term vision. Well, what we have now is a concrete line channel that was used as an older style of flood management, which was to convey the water as fast as possible. What we're going to do is remove the concrete, we're gonna widen this channel, we're gonna make it into a pool riffle system where the fish can actually rest in the pools, move through the riffles into a pool, and move their way all the way up to 27th Street. Something that is gorgeous and natural looking, but also serves a purpose as a natural resource. So it's more than just improving the river, it's more than just removing the concrete, it's transforming the neighborhood. And this kind of investment can really, really change the feeling and the character of a neighborhood. From a neighborhood perspective, when you say, where would you rather live, a place with a concrete line ditch or this amazing river behind me, they're all gonna pick the river. I mean, everyone, regardless of your socioeconomic status, wants a clean, healthy, safe place to live. It's not just a beautiful channel. It's not just a more naturally functioning channel. It's actually going to reduce the risk of flooding, which again, folks who've lived in these neighborhoods for many, many years have a lot of history with. Um, they start to appreciate these investments even more. The backbone to this neighborhood is the Kinnikinnick River. The investments in this backbone, in the river itself, will start to uh, trigger additional investments, not just in other aspects of the natural environment, but investments in housing, investments in transportation infrastructure, investments in parks and open space, and investments in community. I love the Kinnikinnick.